Today, I would like to share with you our CS scorecard. So what is CS scorecard? It is used to measure and evaluate the performance of customer service representatives. It typically includes various metrics and criteria that assess the quality of customer interactions, such as response time, issue resolution, customer satisfaction ratings, and adherence to service standards. By default, our scorecard includes the following rating categories, solution, process, product knowledge, tone, and validation. So what are these? Again, this is just by default and we will definitely update it over time. Solution. It refers to the effectiveness and efficiency of resolving customer issues or problems. It is a metric that evaluates how well customer service representatives or teams are able to address customer concerns and provide satisfactory solutions. Process refers to the effectiveness and efficiency of the customer service processes and workflows. It is a metric that evaluates how well the customer service team follows established procedures and protocols to handle customer inquiries, requests, and issues. Product knowledge refers to the level of understanding and expertise that customer service representatives have about the products or services they are supporting. Tone refers to the manner and attitude in which customer service representatives communicate with customers. It assesses the language, voice, and overall demeanor used by the representatives during interactions with customers. Validation refers to the process of acknowledging and confirming a customer's feelings, concerns, or issues. It involves showing empathy, understanding, and support to the customer and validating their experiences or emotions. 10 and below are the ticket information, review information, review score, and the feedback. We will be reviewing random tickets every week for at least 10 tickets for every customer support representative. In row 11, there are ticket number, ticket date, agent, reviewer, and review date, which is as follows. The ticket number refers to the ticket number in Zendesk. The ticket date refers to the date the customer opened the ticket. Agent refers to who handled the ticket. Let's move on to review information, which is as follows. Reviewer refers to who reviewed the ticket. The review date refers to when the reviewer reviewed the ticket. While in the review score includes the rating categories, which I have discussed earlier. In this review score section, we can put Y if they have passed a category and N if not. Once we have evaluated their performance in each of the listed categories, the scores are automatically calculated to generate the internal quality score. Regarding the feedback section, I am considering whether we should share it with other agents or if I should simply send you a PDF report outlining areas for improvement. This is still a work in progress, but it is how I plan to conduct quality assurance for our customer service department.